What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Kieran here and I have got a treat for you guys. This is Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Barricade and that didn't half feel good to say because I haven't done a review in about a year. As you can see, he is a rather sexy police car. It says to punish and enslave on the side there, just like the original. Nice Decepticon symbol on the side, it says police. Uh, kind of wish there was a couple of paint apps on the uh, the wheels there, but what can you do? I think these Last Night figures are actually pretty well detailed to be fair, um, so give them credit where credit's due. Nice lights on the front, very detailed grill, I really do like that. On the inside you can kind of see his, uh, his sort of shoulders in there, that's not too bad. Nice lights on there. On the back here, the back is kind of plain, so that kind of sucks, no license plate. He has a couple of little paint apps on the lights there, uh, no paint apps on the exhaust, which kind of sucks. And it's just the same on the other side. He does come with a variety of different accessories. Now I really do like that Transformers are coming with a lot more like just weapons in general, and they're not just like crap like mech tech stuff. Um, so you've got a little uh, baton here that you can actually, um, or a truncheon I should call it, in the UK. Where does this go? I think it goes right like here. Like, that can just sort of peg in on there. It has a little handgun that you can uh, sort of just plop on the side there. So they can store underneath, which is rather nice. As for this big one, this sort of folds around into a circle for his, uh, his robot mode weapon. However, in the vehicle mode, you can tab it into these little posts on the back and give him a sort of a stealth force sort of mode. So uh, all in all, pretty damn cool vehicle mode. It, it taps together pretty nicely. Um, the only issues I do have with it are these front pieces. Everything else is fine. Like this back piece is really nice and solid. These front pieces do like to come loose just a little bit and they don't sort of sit flush. But other than that, pretty damn solid vehicle mode. Here he is compared to the Dark of the Moon deluxe class figure. Uh, just so you can get an idea of the scale. He is actually a little bit bigger actually. Pretty nice. I actually really do like the, uh, the new barricade design. He looks rather spiffy. Transformation wise, he's a bit of a shell former, but it's not too terribly bad. Uh, what we're going to do is remove the weapons if you haven't already. Put those off to the side. Then what we're going to do is these sort of little panels here. They just sort of unpeg just a little bit. And you can untab this whole mid section, this whole roof section, and lift this up. It's unpegged from the back there. Lift that up, fold the doors underneath, and leave that for now. Then what we're going to do is pull these arms out. Now these can be a pain, these are like the most annoying part of the transformation for me. Pull the arms out and they will sort of come forward and you push them down just a little tab like that. And there we go. What we're going to do, rotate these up, rotate the forearms like that, rotate his arms around, his hands around. And there's his arms. Then the whole chest piece just sort of folds down and forward. It doesn't tab in which kind of sucks, it just sort of it kind of rests there, it's pretty easy to lift it up, but it's not too bad. Um, it doesn't move when you rotate the arms or anything, so that doesn't really doesn't really matter. You can just sort of angle these how you want them. That sort of back section that will tab in to a little peg there, that pegs in, and then that just sort of sits on his back. He kind of has a bit of back kibble, but it's fine. Uh, then what we're going to do, take the legs, rotate them out like that, and we're going to take these pieces back here, fold these out a little bit, fold the feet down, and then that just sort of forms his foot like that. So fold those out a little bit, pull those out, and then that forms his heel. And there is the last night barricade in his robot mode. Now I've seen the film twice now, and I honestly do think Barricade is my favourite of the uh, the robot redesigns. He looks damn cool. I love his head sculpt as well. He's got a really really nice looking uh, Looking noggin just there. Nice Septicon symbol. It's got some uh, some red eyes in there. Kind of wish he had a little bit of paint detailing on the mouth, but that's not too bad. On the box, you can see he's got some grey on his uh, like mouth guards. I kind of wish they uh, they put that on the figure, but that's fine. As for the rest of his robot mode, he's pretty well proportioned. He's quite stocky. On the back, you can see he does have a little bit of kibble. Um, apparently, this like you can kind of sort of like make shift this into a riot shield, but I don't want to pull it off because I feel like that's going to get pretty loose. It is translucent plastic, so just be careful if you do decide to uh, to pull that off. As for the weapons, um, I like to put the uh, the truncheon in in, uh, in his right hand and sort of flip that around so he's got it like that. Because that is the, I believe that's the correct way to hold a truncheon. Sort of like you hold it backwards. Um, the gun, put that on to his leg, kind of like a little holster there. So that was pretty cool. Then for the main, sort of like the circle one, he does have this in the movie actually. Uh, it looks pretty damn cool. Um, there's, there's food on that. I have a pizza right next to me and it's, I might have dropped it in the pizza. Never mind. Um, this can go on to either one of his arms sort of peg that into there, close it up around, 
and boom, he has his weird sort of like minigun thing. Um, pretty damn cool. I love the accessories that he actually comes with. I don't know, not many Transformers recently have just come with like genuinely just good accessories that fit the character. But I really dig this. I like the truncheon, the, uh, the little handgun that you can have in his little holster. Just for a quick size comparison, here he is next to his Dark of the Moon counterpart. And uh, yeah, you can see he is kind of small. A lot of the Deluxes nowadays are pretty damn small, so that's really to be expected. But I think it sort of fits his design as well because he is quite stocky. Dark Moon Barricade is a little bit taller due to the, uh, the, the wheels on the top here. But honestly, I think the uh, Last Night version is the better figure in my opinion. Yes, this one's more involved, but he, this, this guy has his issues. He doesn't stand up properly um, when he has his, his, his uh, mech tech gun, but... Yeah, and just for a comparison with a figure that's a bit more recent, here he is next to the Last Night Drift, so you can just see those two together. I really am liking these uh, these Last Night figures, they're pretty damn fun. Articulation wise, this guy is pretty friggin' poseable. The head is on a ball joint, you can rotate that left and right, up and down a little bit. It's kind of hampered at the back here, but it does have a uh, pretty decent range of motion on the head there. The arm can rotate full 360 degrees, bend in and out up at the shoulder here. Rotate at the uh, sort of upper upper elbow, bend at the elbow. The uh, wrist can rotate, but mine is kind of fiddly and it sort of wants to pop out. But you can rotate the wrist. It's, you have to do that for transformation anyway. Uh, the hips are on ball joints. Can rotate any which way. Nice thigh swivel. Bend at the knee, and the feet do pivot. So. Pretty damn good range of motion with this guy, even though he's a shell former. This does sort of, you know, you can move this out of the way when you're posing it. So you can just sort of, you know, angle that a little bit differently if you want to. But yeah, pretty damn good range of motion on this guy. Detailing in robot mode is also pretty damn impressive as well. I really honestly, I I, I think they're painting these figures a lot better than they used to. Because we've had quite a few stinkers in the past that have just been, you know, pretty, pretty terrible. And um, I think Barricade is the better of the bunch with the, uh, the Last Night sort of figures. But yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. I really do like the head. He's got a lot of detail on the torso there. I just can't get over this grill. It's just, it's really well done. I really do like that. Also, I forgot to mention, he actually does have uh, knuckle dusters on. He has these in the film, but I think they say to punish and enslave. On the toy, at least, it says to protect and serve. So that is it for the Last Night Barricade. Overall, pretty damn good figure. I've had him sat on my desk for a couple days now. Um, he's earned his spot. He's pretty damn fun. Definitely recommend him. I picked up this guy from Amazon. Um, but I think they are sort of, they're, they're trickling out into uh, stores in the UK and I think they're already out in the US. Um, I haven't really been hunting for them, I've just been buying them online. But yeah, Transformers The Last Night Barricade, get him, he's pretty good.